Our top story tonight is the state criticizing NYSEG after its response to a windstorm that left thousands of you without power last year. But NYSEG isn't the only power company being blamed. Two on your side's Jeff Preval reports. April 4th of last year, a windstorm howling through western New York damaged cars and brought down power lines, leaving tens of thousands of people in the dark. Lake Erie drenched Route 5 in Hamburg. The state's Public Service Commission, which oversees utilities across the state, has come down hard on NYSEG for how it responded to the storm, saying NYSEG was allegedly one of the worst performing companies during the storm, saying, quote, communications with customers and public officials were ineffective. One of the largest areas of concern we heard was regarding the accuracy of estimated restoration times, or ETRs. NYSEG had major shortcomings how it determined ETRs, which resulted in the company having to revise its ETRs. The PSC says NYSEG reduced the number of line workers, which increased restoration times. Although contractors are being used to help offset the decline, we find it appropriate for these companies to provide plans to increase their internal resources to ensure proper levels are on hand. NYSEG isn't alone. The Department of Public Services says multiple power companies, including National Grid, did not follow emergency response plans during storms last year. This is video of damage from another windstorm in March 2017. Wind gusts were up to 75 miles per hour, causing tractor trailers to overturn in a CSX train to derail in Batavia. Again, the PSC is critical of NYSEG's handling of that storm, resulting in a $1.1 million settlement. In general, funds will be used for more effective event response prioritization more effective communications between the companies and their customers. All right, so NYSEG says in response to the March 2017 storm that the company has made changes, putting up heavier wood poles that can withstand harsh weather and bought a mobile command center and implemented two-way texting with customers. NYSEG did not respond to issues in last year's storm. We did not hear back from National Grid. I'm Jeff Perval, Channel 2 News.